Hi everybody, um, welcome to my channel and welcome new subscribers. Hi, I am so glad you subscribed. Uh, love loving the comments, loving the thumbs up, actually using the YouTube application. Thank you so much. Um, I was overjoyed. Um, so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to all my other faithful um, subscribers as well. Okay, well, let's get into what we're going to do today. And today, what we're going to do, and, oh, and also, um, I'm a big person that believes in that we don't need a mold for everything, you know, to make art, right? Maybe we can't find a mold of a dog or a bird or, or something that we really like. Um, so, but you're not stopped. A way to do that is to make a template. Simply find a picture of whatever it is that you like, whether it be um, a dog. This was the schnauzer. Okay, all I did was fussy cut a, a picture of a schnauzer like this one and laid it on the clay that I rolled out and then you cut it out. Let it dry and then you paint it. And, you know, he turned out, I think, absolutely adorable. Um, very sturdy. Uh, oh, by the way, I used Crayola uh, air dry clay. So anyway, uh, also I made the bird. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Again, using a template. Uh, I built up on it, yes. I came in with a uh, slip and made details and stuff like that. Oh, my hands are kind of shaking. Oh, I get so nervous when I get on here. Ah! Anyway, okay, today my choice is making a dish that has a butterfly drawn into the wet clay. That way when it dries, I come back and I can paint a beautiful butterfly. And yes, I did put the, all the special lines just so I don't forget, you know. And uh, I might possibly actually draw them right into the clay as well, actually. Yeah, I may do that. Okay, so this is the bowl I chose to make. We're going to make a bowl that's going to be able to sit in here and dry. And it's going to have this butterfly drawn into the clay and then specially painted. And... Um, hopefully we'll have some nice design because of the way the, the bowl is. So that'll curve my bowl nicely too. And that'll make the butterfly, I think, look like he's going to fly off. <laughs> okay, um, let's get started. I'm not going to put you through all the rolling out of the clay and all of that. Um, I have plenty of videos showing you how to make a bowl. So I'm going to do that. And then... Um, you're going to join me again for the drawing so that you can see how to do it on the wet clay. And then put it in our bowl and wait 48 hours. Okay? All right. I'll be right back in a snap. Hey, I'm getting lonely. I'm all by myself today. <laughs> My husband's already went off to work. I'm uh, at the stage, by the way, that I just bring you in on that. <coughs> Excuse me. Because the bowl has a lot of, you know, it's not a straight circle, I found something that is going to be sufficient. Just thought I'd show you this part. Just go ahead after you've rolled out your clay. A couple of tips. I always say um, I don't touch my hands to the clay until this process here, until I've got it all rolled out, etc. I knead and condition the clay, okay, but I use it in a saran wrap way. And you can do this, you know, there, you can manipulate and season your clay, your air dry clay, just like this. And your hands and um, the other things on our hands, I, I really don't know what the science is to it, but there's something about our hands when it hits the clay, it, there is a reaction, okay? It's just really better not to touch it. <laughs> Use your clean wrap and get it in your little ball and lay it down, cover it with some wax paper, roll it out. Okay, 
I have said that I don't know how many times on videos. So, y'all are probably like, uh-huh. We already heard you say that a numerous times. Okay. Giving this just a good, you know, I'm, you know, I think I'll just go ahead and get my scalpel here. Make sure there's no dried clay on it, because there was. And come in. Maybe. Maybe not. I may have to. Yeah, I'm not liking that. So, I'm going to go ahead and release it here. Because I want a nice, clean edge. I don't want to have to do everything twice. So, this is better. I can see exactly where to cut. And you've probably seen me do this a million times on my bowl videos. But I was going to draw for you on the clay, you know, prior to it uh, hardening. So maybe something a little different. I do believe that I am getting a little bit of a dull blade, which happens, and I got plenty to fix it with. All right, let's release it from, oh, we got a little stickage to our, our uh, wax paper. Always got to keep an eye on that when you're rolling, you know, and like, I'm going to get that off there real quick. Okay, boom, let's move this out of there. Lift our beautiful bowl up. Make sure no paper is taking a free ride. <laughs> Look how nice our bottoms come out, by the way, um, after using uh, the wax paper idea. Um, I'm thrilled with that. Oop. Some little something, something. One of us wants to grab hold. No, you can't live on there. No, no. Okay. Just lift it up one more time. I wanted a fresh paper. I noticed I might have missed some edges over here. Let's clean it up a little bit and then we're going to get right to the drawing. Using your own template. You don't need molds for everything. Although I do love them. If I could afford, probably, I probably would own every mold out there. So in the future, you know, future, oh, I might buy some more. I've got just a couple, like, that make little hearts and silly little things like that. Okay. Ooh, that's looking so good. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's get our cellophane. How about I do all this and I'll be right back. Hi, just gonna give you a little update. We are, we've got our beautiful laid out um, piece of air dry clay, which we are gonna be drawing a butterfly on. And I'm trying to get it to be big enough for my big butterfly. I didn't realize my butterfly was so, so big. Okay, ooh, good idea. Don't stick your fingernails in there, guys. It loves to grab a hold of stuff, so I can see. I actually need to widen it. Would you believe my cat just opened up one of our doors in our house? If you heard it, that was my cat. <laughs> my crazy animals. He doesn't like when any doors are shut. He likes that to every door and I like to keep the laundry door to that room closed and that's what he just went over there and corrected because he wants it open so you know <laughs> you just I love animals so I just get a kick out of it okay let's see here let's test our sizing okay Throw that away would work. Okay, gotta tighten this up a bit. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. 
let's check to make sure that we're not getting too much moisture on our clay. So that the uh, wax paper sticks to the clay. Okay, that's why I'm doing this. See, that side is already, looks like it was going to give me a hard time. And plus I need to clean all that up there on our roll. I had a bunch of these already cut out. Today has been a bit of a struggle. I started out with too much clay to not enough clay. <laughs> and here we are today. Anyway. Okay. So we got another piece. Got a couple extra up there. Just get it on there nice. See why this is crinkling up like that. I think it maybe was the wax paper, so I'm just going to gently, just gently uh, let the wax paper, you know, make it smooth. Naturally, you know, coming in with water with your hand and finger will make it perfectly smooth. I like to try to use as little water as possible. So. See now how we're doing and go grab something of the right circular for this kind of bowl that I showed you here. Okay, because I really want to use that bowl. <laughs> okay, be right back. Okay, we're back. Hi. Okay, we I found something large enough. It actually was one of my vases. Uh, well, it wasn't that big. <laughs> It was this big. Okay, so we're gonna we may, we're gonna adjust maybe the the wingspan just a little bit because I just I don't know today was giving me a hard time. Okay, I couldn't seem to find just the right amount of clay. And <laughs> oh goodness, I've been having a go today. So I'm trying to see where I would like my butterfly to be, which was in the center, but see that's, that's a lot of my wing off, I think. Yeah, a lot on that side. Careful here, I'm going to get nail marks. We don't want that. Oh my, what am I going to do here? Yeah, this is the real, the real struggle of an artist. Okay, there's my placement. It's going to have to work. And as you can see, my my little template was starting to roll up. All you do is try to make sure you didn't nail mark everything. And it's so perfect the way it is. I'm going to show you real quick just how to draw on the clay. Gently. If I can get it to stick. Everything's working against me. I don't know if it's the, the weather or what. But look at that. Isn't that weird? Okay, well, now I got weapons. Okay, I'm gonna bring this little guy. Now, I'm not gonna apply pressure. This is heavy. Okay, all I'm doing is gently rolling to get that template to stay where it's at. I think that's it. We will have to see. Okay. That little side wants to do that, and I'm so sorry. What I'm going to have to do is cut down that a little. Oh, it, look at it rolling up. I'm telling you, there's something in the weather today. Because things aren't acting correctly. Ah, now I got my nail in it. I knew it. Dang it. It's so thin that doing that is wrong. Completely wrong, Crystal. Okay, we gotta get this little butterfly to stick. It don't want to. It's giving me quite the go. Let's uh, try directly on it. No, don't want that either. Come on now, I'm trying to show everybody how easy it is, and it looks like it's a pain in the butt, doesn't it? It's really not. It usually sticks. It's very bizarre. Don't know why that's rolling up, but 
you know what? I've got it down. I'm going to hold it with my hand and use one of, a tool of some kind quickly if I can find one where my favorite is. Anyway, yeah. This one has a... Ah, I just did that. Did you see that? See? I started getting in a hurry. Okay, everybody can see. All I'm doing is holding down our stencil. I don't know why today, of all days, when I'm going to film it, that it wanted to curl. But it's just a template. No big deal. Like if it if it's a fail, you'll never never see the video. shaking. I get so nervous when I'm on camera. Okay, maybe everybody's kind of getting the idea here. I'm just following the pattern is all. There's going to be a lot of cleanup on this one, I can tell. It's just one of those days. Okay, you probably don't want to watch me do all this. But I will lift it up, though, and let you see. You might want to see this part. Remember I told you on my template I drew all these pretty butterfly lines? Go ahead, take your instrument, just like it was maybe a pencil, follow those lines, gently pressing, and it should give us a nice pattern of the butterfly. Oops, stop with the nails, Crystal. Right there. Around. Should have just freehanded this, but I wanted just to. Sh so you know, somebody that doesn't, you know, that doesn't freehand draw, but has other wonderful gifts of artistry to also know another way of doing something that maybe they thought they couldn't do. I don't know. All right, well, let's see what we got. Oh, well. Oh, okay, there. Okay, I was going to say, where's the impression? Okay, it's there, guys. Hoping I didn't miss anywhere. Gently lifting it. Yay, there we go. Put your little stencil, stencil somewhere where it can dry. And I usually put it in a book to flatten it as it dries because I, I can use it again. So there. And, you know, I'm going to get all these little pieces of clay that were inside the cut of the butterfly, which I made a little deeper. Okay. But just go ahead and get rid of all the top crumbs anyway. The ones you can get. Get rid of them. Because you don't want them stuck on your beautiful butterfly. Now see there, I don't know why there's a hole there. But we're going to have to do something about that. I may use a little, maybe a little slip right there. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, this thing should have looked a lot better, but it didn't, so. All right. What I'm doing is just taking a little bit of slip, which is nothing but clay that has been in water. Okay, that's all. I think what 
I might do two. Let's just do that like it was meant to be there. There we go. Hey, beautiful. Seems like every time I make a mistake in crafting, something bad will go happening and then something great. So, keep that in mind, guys. All right, there you go. All I'm gonna do is just tighten up the, the sides. They're, they're very well cut right now. There really doesn't need to be any moisture applied. I just wanna make sure all the little guys are off of there. And this will be set into this bowl right here. Well, you guys can imagine that. It only, unfortunately, I don't already have another one pre-done. And it takes at least 48 hours for this to dry. I promise, though, if you comment and tell me, I'll be sure to film how to paint this because I am going to make some gorgeous colors in this when it dries. And all these little impressions, did you see that from the design of the butterfly? Can you, I'm hoping you can see it. Um, I just did something up one time and the thing fell out, so let's hope that doesn't happen today. I'm going to move my little instruments that are everywhere. Stand that. I like everything in its place. I'm kind of weird that. Oh, now I knocked that over there. Okay. Anyway, there. Well, there. Isn't it? That's better, right? Now you can see it. Can you see the inside of the wings? Okay. When all that dries, okay, and of course it's going to be concaved and maybe just a little bit raised up. Um, then I'll, if you ask in the comments for me to paint it so you can see me use what I do, which I do on clay, is I use liquid X medium pour with an acrylic uh, color and I mix it and that's what I'll, I'll do. And it almost looks like glazing. Um, turns out beautiful. Okay, if you're interested, just let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you liked today. It was a, a very short video. Um, maybe I'll make another one tonight. I mean, I'm just going to put this in a dish. I'm all by myself right now. So, um, thank you for joining me. And uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. It's, it helps me build my channel. I'd really love that. And uh, I also want to go live uh, and do stuff like that. Um, thank you again. And I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Bye. Have a great day.